Icon Collectibles Batch Update. And yes, these are already in stock because if you've um, been checking your emails today or checked your PayPal today, you would see that Pop Culture have already started sending out a bunch of invoices notifying customers that these items are in stock. Um, so I am going to go through them. Um, before I get started though, I have seen a couple of um, people in various groups still whinging that Australian retail is ridiculously slow, what's going on, don't bother with them. Yeah, their prices are cheap, but the speed is shit, la la la. Um, can we just point out that if we go to um, this unboxing thing, we have a figure that was put up by Sideshow two weeks ago, we have a product that was put up by Sideshow three weeks ago, four weeks ago, um, and then a month ago. These items are all in this batch. And for this one, I mean, yes, we know Sideshow have, has been a tiny bit late putting videos up, um, especially the uh, Chopper one, I think, was a bit late. Um, and there are still uh, releases uh, that Sideshow haven't unboxed yet. But this would had to have already been in transit to pop culture, um, I would say, because there's no way it would, it would get... Um, from Icon to, to pop culture in, in two weeks, I don't think. Um, or at least from Sideshow, yeah, from Sideshow to Icon in two weeks. So, um, I would say they would have had to have already had this, um, in, in, in transit before it was released. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go through. We have the Kenobi, um, from Kenobi. So, the inner quantity updating to one is what you're looking for here. Um, that is how you know that it is in. Um, we have Balin Skull, as said, um, a rather quick turnaround, about a month between Sideshow shipping it out and hitting Australian retail. Um, we have these guys. Now, Sideshow were quite late because remember, these were an advanced release at a con um, or at least that they were an advance released um, overseas. So you had those vendors um, that had them, but they were quite priced, they were quite highly priced, especially this guy. Um, this one did tank a bit and he was cheaper. I did pick him up through Jefferson Tan. Um, Jefferson's always um, a great help in sourcing figures. Um, but yes, both of them are finally hitting Australian retail. Um, so do look out for those invoices. Um, Mandalorian Super Commando is in. Um, some of these are pre-sold out, so um, hopefully there might be some spares. Uh, the Gideon 2.0, again a fairly recent release, is in a quantity one. Um, Thrawn, uh, BT1, uh, we have the Rocket and Cosmo, uh, She-Hulk. Now this is one of those ones that was starting to drag on a bit, and this is why people are complaining because they're not realizing it's only a very small handful of figures now that have an extended wait. Um, if we scroll through here, um, so there's Gideon a month, like I said, these are relatively quick, the quickest they've been. Um, unfortunately, no tech this batch. We do have Star-Lord, that was a month. Um, no IG-12, no Wasp in this batch. Um, the Lost Boys is, so you can see that we're starting to get a bit longer here. So about eight weeks for these two. Um, Thrawn, again, is a bit longer. Uh, no Lady Pool. I'm assuming it's because of the wool hair, maybe. Um, but they, we, we do have a couple of them, like Vader, Return of Jedi Deluxe has been taking a, a bit long. Um, like I said, there's three months on. Um, Rocket. Uh, no Deadpool, but that was a special edition, but recent edition. So four months. Four months for She-Hulk. Yeah, okay. Let's sixteen weeks. We, we're getting a bit. We're getting a bit up there, um, in in terms of time. But it's still a lot quicker than it used to be. Um, I've been collecting one six scale from two thousand six onwards. Um, there used to be a eight to twelve month turnaround between sideshow and pop culture, and for that reason, I was buying a lot more of my stuff from sideshow. Um, but then when the change of government happened and they whacked on the 10% GST for imports, um, it just became too much. 
because uh, you're paying an increased shipment fee because uh, Sideshow now use DHL, I believe. Um, and yeah, the, the we went from like forty dollars of Australian. We went from I think it was forty. Yeah, it it, it pretty much doubled postage. Pretty much doubled. Um, and then there was an extra ten percent whacked on top of that. And yeah, prices from Sideshow are just yuck these days. Um, but yeah, four months. That's that's not terrible. The only figures, um, and this is I guess I suppose why people are really complaining. Um, the only figures that we actually don't have, like, yeah, okay, these guys were six months. Um, and I, I do understand it, like, where the hell is the standard for this? Like, nine months, seriously. Um, that's understandable. Um, Morbius is ten months. I believe maybe it's just he's that unpopular that the batch is just, they're taking their time with it. Again, it's a Hot Toys production thing. It's got nothing to do with Australian retail. It's got to do with Hot Toys' treatment of certain characters. Um, and the, the worst one is the, re I believe, is the Return of the Jedi 3PO. Yeah, there he is, nine months. So you've got two figures at nine months, three figures at nine months, sorry, um, that haven't come out yet. Everything else, uh, like I said, has been relatively quick. Um, anyway, um... So yeah, we've got She-Hulk, we've got the Tony, um, we've got Star-Lord, we've got the Mark II, again, three-week turnaround, but super quick. Um, we do have the Keating, we have the Keating Deluxe, we have Kane, um, and then that's it. Uh, so we, we don't have these two yet, um, which is unfortunate, I get it, it it's unfortunate, but... Um, the weights for them have not been, it's still not quite a year yet. Um, hopefully it doesn't get to a year. I honestly can't really think of why they would do this, but um, it's just one of those things. Anyway, um, Kenobi, Balin, Trooper, Shadow Trooper, uh, Super Commando, Gideon, Thrawn, BT-1, uh, Rocket, She-Hulk, Stark, Star-Lord, Mark II, Batman, uh, Batman Deluxe, and Kane. Um, and uh, the Lost Boys um, guy as well. Um, so that's the sideshow figure. Um, so that is our batch. Um, I have already paid my invoice for Balin. I've already paid my invoice for Super Commando. Um, fingers crossed, well, surely we get them before Christmas, um, because they've got uh, a good window to ship them out on, and I would be very surprised if it takes them that long uh, to ship out. They're generally quite um, on top of things. Uh, see how we go. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this information was helpful. Stay tuned to the group um, if you want more information. I would assume if these don't uh, go in stock over the weekend, they will definitely go in stock by Monday. Um, I can't imagine them hitting the, the pop culture website while the 20% off is in effect. Um, if they drop She-Hulk and the 20% off is in effect um, as spares, that would be freaking ludicrous because she is pre-sold out. Um, I currently have one on order at Zing. I know a couple of people have got uh, invoices from Sergo because Sergo have also got their icon stock. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Anyway guys, once again, thank you for watching. Apologies for this video being a bit longer than normal, but I just wanted to point out, don't stress about the timelines. Um, Pop uh, uh, Hot Toys' production is whatever Hot Toys' production is. Um, Morbius, I would assume, is simply because they know people don't care about the character and they just slowly pump them out. Um, and yeah, perhaps 3PO and Vader were just so popular that they're still procuring <coughs> <coughs> batches elsewhere first. But again, don't work for Hot Toys, so can't really comment on it. Anyway guys, have 